Okay, so these Boston ferns are from last year. We were gonna put these in the greenhouse and try to save them. Greenhouse didn't get finished, so they sat out and then when we ended up having that five degree weather snap, that's when these kind of went along with a lot of other stuff that was out here. So I went to Lowe's today. They had their Boston ferns on sale. So I got two, they're right over there. And I'm gonna plant those up and replace these dead ones. We got one up. Good. All right, and here's the second one. And there's Smokey. Hey, Smokey. Yeah, I like those. Those look good. Let's go out here and look at them. I'm gonna come out here with you, Smokey. What's going on? All right, let's take a look. About to do a major cleaning on the deck too. Yeah, I like those. Those look good. What's up, Riley? What's up, buddy? Also got some river rock from Lowe's. I'm going to put the river rock right here in this section. Probably some down in there if we have some left over. And that's two different sizes. So this stuff is like the one to two inch. And then I've got pea gravel. So I'll do the big stuff first. And then I'll put the pea gravel on top of that to fill in the holes and make it all level. And then whatever's left over of that rock, I'm going to do in this muddy spot. This is a real muddy spot in the yard. So I'm going to put some gravel down there. Okay, so you see that that's already starting to look a lot better. So now I'm going to put some pea gravel on top of that and that should fill in any of the gaps and kind of lock everything in. 
That looks a lot better. And I'm gonna finish the dog path over here. This is kind of the design we came up with to keep the dogs from bringing mud into the house. Uh, they, they'll, so we don't have to open this door each time. They just jump through there and then they come through here and up. And so they were tracking mud all up onto the deck and we're like, how's that happening? And so, well, they were coming through this muddy area. So I was meaning to add rock to this and haven't. So that's what I'm doing now, finishing that up now. That looks good. So the pea gravel in theory will go down in between those those larger river rocks and then kind of lock everything in. That was what I was hoping anyway. So I've watched a bunch of videos on Andrew Camarada's channel about how he lays gravel uh, in different places, filling in driveways and dirt roads and stuff like that. And so that was kind of what I had in my head when I was doing this, just trying to lock everything in and make a nice path. All right, that turned out really nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's a nice mud-free walkway for the dogs. And then I finished up over here. So I like that. That's kind of sort of the direction that I wanted to go with those, those rocks as pavers. I didn't want to do the entire area as rock. I still want to be able to plant some stuff back there and put some potted plants out here and things like that. I have some more plans for this area, but that's kind of the area that I wanted to stay with the rock. Eventually, we may come out to here, at least to the, the doorway going out into the backyard. We could kind of go at least that far with the rock, but as of right now, I'm, I'm happy with how much is there.